there, you're listening to Creative Calling Podcast. I'm your host, Brianna Christine, designer, illustrator, creative entrepreneur, maker of Creative Calling Podcast, and this book, Creative Calling Activity Book. And in this series for Creative Calling Podcast, I have been going through each one of these activities one by one and giving you short inspiration on how you can improve whatever freelance gig you've got going on, whatever creative entrepreneurship you've got going on, whether that's personal, it's coming from your heart, you just want to grow it, whether you're trying to make some financial investment in it, it's all here, whatever you need to satisfy your creative desires. That's what this book is for. A lot of people don't take the time to share what uh, it takes to be creative And so I am here to demystify all of that. Not like I'm saying anything unique or um, even new, but really I'm just presenting it in a way that is fun for me, which is through uh, inspiring quotes. And also I love getting dressed up for you guys and coming on camera. I think this is the only day I curled my hair this week. Oh my gosh, did I did it just for you. Okay. I digress. We will jump into this mini-sode and I will give you some inspiration. Think about a problem in your business that is troubling you. Don't try to solve it. Just get it from your head to this piece of paper. Leave it here and don't let it distract from your day. This is so important because For all of you control freaks out there like me, sometimes I can be like uber needing to be in control, especially when I'm learning something new in dance. I can be really super obsessive and just want to drill the same pattern over and over and over again. And I'll spend like 20 minutes just on lunges so I can get this perfect walk so that I can do this other pattern that goes into this routine. And I spend obsessive amounts of time doing these like little nuanced things. And there's definitely a time and a place for that. But when it comes to thinking about our time and how to use it wisely, which thank you so many of you were um, so very, they, you had a great response to my calendar episode where I talk about how to use your time really wisely. Similar to when we're thinking about how we solve a problem, we don't want to spend obsessive amounts of time on nuanced steps or nuanced activities that really aren't benefiting us when it comes to the bigger picture of something. So sometimes we just have to spend five minutes on something and if we feel like we're hitting some kind of obstacle, we just have to let it go and try something else and take a breather and take a break and that's okay. And I'm here to remind you that that's okay. In fact, I was just out to uh, dinner with my boyfriend yesterday and We were talking about how sometimes you could be working on something at work and you're out at dinner with friends and you think of the answer and then you go home and you're like working away at it because the answer came to you at an unexpected time. So for all you control freaks out there, that is my piece of wisdom to you. I also want to talk about my artwork here. Sometimes you win. Sometimes you learn. I, uh, been, I've actually had this book out for almost a year. And it's interesting because for me, winning would be having produced this mini sewed series like way faster than I've been doing it. And there's a mix of reasons why that doesn't happen because of constantly learning about myself, things I need to do, where I need to put my time. I had to move a couple times. La 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 la. The cool thing is, since I haven't had the chance to finish it when I would have wanted to, I've gotten to see how each one of you who are watching this channel, now exclusively on YouTube and SoundCloud, how you all use this book and what impacts you have seen from the activities and which ones just have it worked out. I knew as soon as this book was printed that a lot of changes were going to have to be made in round two and some of you may know that this will not be my last book but it's been really interesting to see over time how this book has really impacted those of you watching and which ones of them which of the activities have not had any impact at all 
I haven't had anything from this particular activity, so I'm really curious to hear in the comments how you guys take this one. But I do know that um, on the topic of both, sometimes you win, sometimes you learn, because we, we want to feel like we're winning all the time, right? In this sense, like I wanted to feel like this part of my um, podcast was done and also that all the books were sold, but only half are sold and only half of the episodes are done. So some of that has to do with the amount of time and energy I've put into the book and some of that has to do with just the way things are that I can't explain because I believe that some things are not explainable or at least understandable um, to us. So with that, I want to say if you are a control freak, it's okay to let things go. It's okay to reflect and see what you've learned from a situation. Maybe there's a reason why it's taken longer than you expected. Like you've learned something that now I've learned something I can share with you guys. Like, hey, if you have trouble with your time, go back to the last video, please. Because I've seen in the last year, almost every single of the 50 books that I've sold, almost the 50 of you that I've used it, almost every single one of you has benefited from that activity. And I can also say, let's not spend so much time on another activity, although one isn't specifically coming to mind, but if you are in this situation, like for instance, maybe Joe was in that situation, then I can share about that. So that's all I have for you guys today. And I hope you guys have a, a fantastic creative journey. I don't know. I don't usually sign off like this. This is why I usually stick to a script. Um, yes. And I look forward to seeing you guys in the next episode. Comment, like, subscribe, share, support, and also just uh, continue to live from your heart. All right, guys. Until next time.